What's good, YouTube? Dorsey Made Gaming here, y'all. And yesterday I sent the email to EA, you know, asking them um, if they had any plans on bringing out NCAA on PS4. And then I also asked them if uh, they ever plan on making NCAA 14 backwards compatible through PlayStation Now um, in the Xbox store. Uh, now, they replied to me, and I did tell them also in the message that, you know, I understand, I, I guess I know going in that if they do plan on coming out with it, a new NCAA, they're not going to say it. Um, just like, only reason, it's like this, the only reason we know they're coming out with another Madden is because they, they're still under contract to have those Madden games. Um, but games aren't supposed to be announced until the developers are ready to announce them. So even if they were doing it, they wouldn't tell us until, you know, developers say, OK, yeah, you can announce that this game is going to be coming out. Um, but I guess that's if I can't have a NCAA football game, I would man, I, I don't understand, I guess, from a from a financial standpoint, they can't put NCAA 14 on backwards compatibility lists like PlayStation Now and then the Xbox 360 uh, backwards compatibility um, because of, of legal issues. For instance, with NCAA, every game that Xbox has on backwards compatibility, you can actually buy it on the Xbox store. And so if they were to make it backwards compatible, then they would have to also put it in the Xbox store. Now, do they have to? No, they don't. They could just put it out. Um, and also with PlayStation Now, um, PlayStation Now is a service. You're not actually buying the games. You're just streaming those games. Um, I, man, I swear, man, I, man, I would love to freaking play some college football. I, I mean, I have two, uh, NCAA 14, um, for the 360 and all. I mean, it's, it's cool. I still get to play it, but I don't like just having one console for one game. You see what I'm saying? So I would like to be able to play it on my PlayStation 4 or my Xbox One where I have multiple games, not just kind of having space sitting up for one game on one console. Um, I, I would I would be happy at EA Play if they just even came out and said that, you know, um, if they don't announce plans for a future NCAA football game, um, to just say, hey, we're going to make 14 backwards compatible. That'd be great. Or, you know, I know that I don't even think that they would be able to release a, a 14 for PlayStation 4. Uh, I think that technically they could, but they at the same time, they can't because you have to have that license in order to sell that new product. But at the same breath, they did have the license to make that game. So I don't think they lost the license for that game. Not sure. Um, but one thing that... Um, that stands out to me is this, you know, because like I said, I, e I emailed them and asked them about that. And they said, you know, they didn't answer my first question about an NCAA game coming out, but I did see a previous question asked and they said they have no plans for it. And I think that's false. I think that's a false statement with all the money that they made from NCAA football. I don't see how you couldn't have plans to bring out another one. Um, when even the EA executive, which now he's left EA, but he's, He's um, I think he's a CEO for a soccer team overseas, but he stated that they'll be back. I, You know, that was a cash cow. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, they did the same thing with baseball and NCAA basketball. But those two games even combined didn't come close to what NCAA football did. Um, that's true. And, and so they when they look at those things, they have to look at them from a cash standpoint. And that cash standpoint is, you know, do we stand to make money from this game? Because if you don't know, EA even said it, that they were still going to come out with football games during the lawsuit. The only reason they didn't was because those court fees and lawyer fees cost more than the potential profit for that they would make from making that game. So they were still going to make them. So that leads me to know and believe that they're not going to just let that go by. Because even today, you still have people asking for NCAA football more than any other game. And the community, even myself, knows that when, if they were to announce another NCAA football game, 
I'm going to go as far to say that it will become the number one selling sports game ever. Ever. Number one, because since they took it away, people want it even more because they don't have it. You know what I'm saying? And then people like me who grew up playing it year after year after year, looking forward to it every year. And then they take it away. You want it back even more. One guy even commented and said that if they had it for 120 bucks, if they came out with it and it was 120 bucks, he would buy it. And, you know, I've always said I wouldn't buy, you know, spend 200, 300, 150 dollars for one game. But I'm not going to lie, y'all. Y'all might call me crazy, but I would drop one hundred and twenty dollars for a new college football game. I'm not even going to lie to you, man. EA can say, hey, y'all, we need some funding for this, and I'm going to fund it. I know they got some crowdfunding. Um, I think it's IMB or something like that trying to come out with a college football game, um, and it's through crowdfunding that, you know. But the reason I don't – I'm not getting behind that, um, not because I don't believe that they'll be successful one day, but with technology ever changing by the time – every time they would get close to being – having a product ready to put out the technology would advance and you, they basically be back to square one. EA has all the tools ready and at their disposal to make the game. They don't have to do facial scans because they never did facial scans for the games. Uh, as far as the stadiums, all they have to do is go and, and, you know, survey the stadiums or get pictures of the stadiums um, and things like that. So, you know, they don't have to do a whole lot of on campus stuff. They can do a lot of stuff right from the studio. Um, so it's, it's it wouldn't be hard for them to put another one out. Um, but like I said, the whole legal thing, that's what's hurting us, man. It's hurting us all. And it, it hurts, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, people may laugh at me. People may call me crazy, but Man, I, I love, I really genuinely love playing college football. I love watching it. It hurts to even watch college football because when I watch it, I want to play it and I can't play it, you know, up to date. And can you imagine the graphics? Now, one thing I will say is that when you looked at NCAA 14 and then what was it, Madden 25 was the counterpart to it, um, you noticed that NCAA, Madden's graphics were always kind of better than NCAA. Um, so I do hope that if they did come back out with a college football game, that they would, that we would have some awesome graphics, man. I can't even picture playing NCAA with the graphics that we have today, man. It's, it's insane. And the consoles that we have with the power, can you imagine what all would be in a college football game? We are recruiting it, 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 man, because 14, 14 to me was one of the best football games ever, especially on the college level, because not only could you recruit players, but I even like at the end of the year after your players left, you got to see where they went in the draft and everything like that was freaking amazing to me, man. And you actually got to build the program and I, I just love college football, man. And so y'all, y'all know me, I'm going to share this with EA. I'm going to keep, keep on them, man. I mean, till they at least let us know something because it's, Here's the thing. I know some of y'all are saying, well, they did. They let you know. They said they don't have any plans. Um, it's kind of like this. Um, say there's a party today and somebody comes to you and they say, hey, man, are you going to that party? You're going to say, you may say, I didn't plan on it. That doesn't mean that you're not going to go. It just means you didn't plan on it. You didn't make plans specifically to go. You see what I'm saying? Because I've done that many times, but I didn't plan on going. But I, yeah, I'll go ahead and go. You know, something like that. Just because EA says they don't have plans at this time um, doesn't mean that they're not in development. Doesn't mean that they're not coming back out with it. Because like I said, you have to realize this. They can't come out and say, yes, we are coming out with college football again. Because developers can't announce a game until, until the publisher says, Hey, you can announce this game. You see what I'm saying? It's it's always been like that. Um, some games you have no clue about until they announce it. And the games have been in development years before, like Call of Duty coming out this year. Did we know we're getting a Call of Duty game? Yeah, because we pretty much get one every year. But you didn't know nothing about it until they decided for you to know something about it because the game was 
you know, and people say, well, they come out with another one year after year after year. Okay, so for instance, the one that's coming out now has been in development for two years. Uh, same thing with the college football and uh, Madden games. You're playing Madden 17. Okay, Madden 18 comes out on in August. Guess what? End of August, September, they're already working on next year's game. You see what I'm saying? It's not like they wait till the other one's over and then develop it. No, because it takes one to two years uh, for a game. Now, Madden 18, I can guarantee you, has been in development probably for two years. The reason I say that is because EA has had the Frostbite engine. And with the new engine, it takes even longer to make a game. Um, whereas with the Ignite engine, once you have the foundation set, you just improve on stuff. And so you could put a game out a lot faster. That's another reason why we pretend probably hadn't heard anything yet, because they're still putting up finishing touches on a lot of stuff because it's a new engine. But all in all, man, I would love to see college football come back. Y'all, I guess this is just a get off my chest episode um, and me being salty about college football not being available on the next gen consoles, man. But one can only hope, can he? You know what I'm saying? So that's all I got for today, y'all. Um, I'm still looking out for Madden uh, videos and stuff like that or, or, or Madden updates. Uh, I did send EA a email uh, requesting, you know, when are they going to say anything about Madden 18? And I did mention in there how 2K comes out in September and they didn't already said something about the game. But they ain't said nothing about Madden. You don't even know what the pre-order bonuses are for Madden. And it comes out in, what is it, May, June, July, with three months? Man, that's really, really soon. So that's all I got for right now, y'all. Till next time, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and God bless.